Hello, and welcome to the service of Christian worship. The Wabash Avenue Presbyterian Church family in Crawfordsville, Indiana welcomes you, our church governing board, the session, and uh, Wabash Avenue's pastor, me, John Van Nuys. I welcome you as well. We are glad that you were here. I imagine there are some old faces, familiar faces, uh, be on the other side of the screen, but I am imagining there's some new faces too. Please know that you are most welcome here. Today we celebrate uh, the day of Pentecost. What is Pentecost? Pentecost is the birthday of the church. It's the day in which the Holy Spirit uh, was given to Jesus' followers to empower them uh, to proclaim the risen Christ. And so that is not a one and done event. Pentecost is ongoing. And we believe that the Holy Spirit is with us even now. And that we are one in Christ through the Spirit who continues to give us the ability, the power, uh, the uh, wherewithal to confess our Lord, to follow him and to love him. So. Let us join in our time of worship through this prayer for preparation for worship. Let us pray. Almighty God, you pour out the spirit of grace upon all who desire it. Deliver us from cold hearts and wandering thoughts that with steady minds and burning zeal, we may worship you in spirit and in truth through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our call to worship is based on John chapter 7, verses 37 to 38. Let us worship God. Come to Jesus, you who are thirsty. Alleluia. Drink deeply of the Holy Spirit. Alleluia. Let your heart overflow with the living water of God's presence, peace, and love. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Our opening hymn is, This Is My Father's World. It is sung by Andy Plemons. This is my father's world, and to my listening, sings and round me rings the music of the spheres this is my father's world I rest me in the thought of rocks and trees of skies and seas his hand the wonders wrought this is my father's world. Oh, let me ne'er forget that though the wrong seems oft so strong, God is a ruler yet. This is my father's world. The battle is not done. Jesus, who shall be satisfied and earth and heaven be one. Our call to confession comes from Acts chapter 2 verses 1 through 21. God has promised that everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Therefore, let us call upon the Lord confessing our sins. Please join me in our prayer of confession. Almighty God, on the day of Pentecost, you poured out your spirit upon your disciples, creating bold tongues, open ears, and a new community of faith. We confess that we deny, dilute, and divert the force of your spirit among us. We do not listen for your word of grace, speak the good news of your love, or live as a people made one in Christ. Have mercy on us, O God, 
transform our timid lives by the power of your Holy Spirit and fill us with a flaming desire to be your faithful people, doing your will for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us continue our prayer of confession now in silence. Amen. Receive now the declaration of pardon. Brothers and sisters in Christ, hear the good news. God offers forgiveness for our sins and the grace of repentance. Accept God's grace, repent of your sin, and be restored to the abundant life of the Lord. Friends, believe the good news. In Jesus Christ, we are forgiven. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Our scripture today comes from Acts chapter 2, verses 1 through 21. So listen now for God's word as it speaks to you. When the day of Pentecost had come, the disciples were all together in one place. And suddenly from heaven there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as of fire appeared among them and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in the other tongues and in other languages as the Spirit gave them ability. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven living in Jerusalem. And at this sound, the crowd gathered and was bewildered because each one heard them speaking in the native language of each, amazed and astonished, they asked, are not all these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear each of us in our own native language, Parthians, Medes, Elamites, and residents of, Mes of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the parts of Libya belonging to the Cyrene, and to visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabs, in our own languages, we hear them speaking about God's deeds of power. All were amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, what does this mean? But others sneered and said, they are filled with new wine. But Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed them. Men of Judea and all who live in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to what I say. Indeed, these are not drunk, as you suppose, for it's only nine o'clock in the morning. No, this is what was spoken through the prophet Joel. In the last days it will be, says the Lord, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Even upon my slaves, both men and women, in those days I will pour out my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I will show portents in the heaven above and signs on the earth below, blood, and fire and smoky mist. The sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the Lord's great and glorious day. Then everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It doesn't feel like Pentecost. Pentecost for our congregation, for Wabash Avenue, means dressing up in red, 
celebrating the choir and teachers and graduates, eating fancy treats and releasing balloons. None of that is happening today. It just doesn't feel like Pentecost. It doesn't feel like Pentecost, but it is Pentecost. Not because the church calendar says it is, but because God wills it to be so. Today is Pentecost. Today is the day when the Holy Spirit is given to the church, empowering us, the body of Christ, to proclaim the saving love of God in Christ. Today and every day, the gift of the Holy Spirit is given to us. Today and every day, we are called by God, saved by Christ, and empowered by the Holy Spirit to proclaim and share and speak and act to announce the good news that Jesus Christ is risen today and a brand new way of living is here. Elephant trainers in India keep Earth's largest land animal bound by a single chain around one leg with links the width of your index finger. How can a chain that you'd use to lock up a bicycle restrain a 10,000 pound animal? Simple. The trainers put the chain on the elephant when it's young. The baby elephant tries, but it can't break the chain. As it grows, the elephant continues to assume that the chain is stronger than it is. That's how a five-ton powerhouse is bound. We also have chains, which keeps us bound. But more importantly, we have the Holy Spirit, or more correctly, the Holy Spirit has us. By grace, the power of God has been unleashed upon us to free us from our leashes. That's why we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. That's why we are more than conquerors through him who loves us. That's why Christ tells us, you are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. You are a new creation. In other words, the force is with you always. The Holy Spirit, which empowered the first disciples on the first day of Pentecost 2,000 years ago, is the same Holy Spirit which empowers Jesus' current disciples today on this day of Pentecost to do great things for him. The Spirit is greater than your shackles. God is bigger than your problem. Christ is stronger than your current circumstances. And whatever they may be, Christ will make a way through for you to live. Since Christ conquered the grave, surely he can conquer everything else. Dare to live for him. Receive the Holy Spirit who comes to you. Bear the good fruit of a life rooted in the Holy Spirit by being loving, peaceful, patient, kind, generous, faithful, gentle, and self-controlling. Don't just rise with Christ when you die and go to heaven. Rise with Christ today by being fully alive in love. As you do, you will be caught up in the power of Pentecost. You will be refashioned by the presence of the Holy Spirit. Hell will never stop you because heaven is already with you to save you, to bless the world, to bring close the kingdom, and to set you free. Let us unite our hearts and minds in prayer for our world, saying, Almighty God, hear our prayer. 
For the church throughout the world, Almighty God, hear our prayer. Inspire the sons and daughters of your church for prophetic witness to your truth. And upon old and young, give clarity of vision to acknowledge your saving power in the world. For the nations of the world and its leaders, especially our President Donald and our Governor Eric, Almighty God, hear our prayer. Overcome the babble of misunderstanding among the nations and let all people hear in their own language and recognize in their own culture your unifying message of love, that we may work together to help everyone have what they need to live through this pandemic. For planet Earth, our home, Almighty God, hear our prayer. By your Spirit, renew the Earth. Make us good stewards of its resources. And teach us to enjoy its abundance rightly. Bless all who farm with good weather for continued planting and for their crops to prosper, that your good Earth may feed us all. For those in need of healing, Almighty God, hear our prayer. Among those known to us, O God, we pray for Bill, John, Judy, Marty, and Roger. Send your healing spirit upon those who are sick in body or mind. Restore them to health and restore to them the joy of salvation. For our neighbors and members of our civic community, Almighty God, hear our prayer. Teach us to be good neighbors, to live in peace with one another, and in friendship share the joys and burdens of daily life. Protect all who are serving on the front lines of this pandemic. May these unseen caregivers be regarded as the apple of your eye as you hold them safely in the palm of your hand. For our children, Almighty God, hear our prayer. Bless our children, protect them from danger, and help parents and caregivers nurture them so that they may mature in wisdom and grow in grace. For our enemies, Almighty God, hear our prayer. Bless our enemies and show us how we may do good to them, forgiving them, and when possible, working for reconciliation for the sake of Jesus Christ. For all who mourn, Almighty God, hear our prayer. Be with all who grieve, especially those who mourn for Helen, Scott, and Barry. Grant them your presence and your peace. For all who are forgotten, discarded, and alone, and who have no one to pray for them, Almighty God, hear our prayer. Pour out your grace upon them and upon these silent burdens and fervent concerns we have for these persons and issues which we now name silently before you. In your mercy, Almighty God, receive these prayers and according to your wisdom, provide all that is needed for your mercy to flow, for your salvation to triumph, and for your kingdom to come. We ask this in the name of your Son who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Our closing hymn is sung by our choir director, Jenny Fight Swick. It is, He Leadeth Me.
Lord, I would clasp thy hand in mine, nor every murmur, nor repine. Content whatever that I see, since tis my God that leadeth me. Receive now the charge and the benediction. I charge you on this day of Pentecost and every day to remember that the gift and grace of the Holy Spirit is with you, that God will guide you and Christ will live through you as you share your life through your faith, hope, and love. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord turn a shining face toward you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift you up and give you peace now and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>